If you're struggling to find products to drop ship on the Facebook Marketplace, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm going to show you the simplest way to do product research for Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. What's up everyone, Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start their first successful dropshipping store. And this year, my biggest focus has been Facebook Marketplace dropshipping because I have found it to be the simplest way for beginners to get started selling products online, simpler than anything I've ever seen before. So I've had a lot of students going through my program, learning Facebook Marketplace and doing really well with it. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a sneak peek inside my program. I show about five different ways to do product research in there, but I wanna show you one of the simplest ways that you can do it right here using a completely free method that is very, very simple to do. But real quick, before we do that, underneath this video is a link to a free video series that I'm going to be hosting all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. So if you want even more information, sign up at the link below. You'll instantly get a free ebook all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And then once the video series is available, you'll get that as well. All right, so let me show you this technique and how you can do it yourself. Now, one of the difficult things about being a seller on Facebook Marketplace is that Facebook really doesn't give you any data on what items are selling well. On Pop Platforms like eBay and Amazon, we're easily able to see what items are popular and then we can turn around and sell those same products ourselves. But Facebook Marketplace just doesn't give us that information. So we have to find other more creative ways to find the best products to list up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And what we have found is based on our experience is that if items are selling well on other platforms like eBay or, or Amazon, for instance, there's a really high chance that they're going to sell well on Facebook Marketplace as well. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're gonna hop on Amazon. We're gonna see what's selling well over there. And if they fit our other criteria, then we are going to list them up for sale onto Facebook Marketplace. So here I am on Amazon. And if I click on the top left where it says all, right here at the top is what we are interested in. It says under trending, best sellers, new releases, and movers and shakers. So let's start in the best sellers category because what this is showing us is literally the products that are selling the best on Amazon. Now, Amazon breaks down their items into different categories. So right here, this top category is gift cards. This one's electronics. This one's camera and photo. I get the idea, right? So if we go into one of the categories, I'm going to go into home and kitchen here. This is going to show me the ranking of all the items that are in the category home and kitchen. The number one right here, this item that's number one, this is the most popular item in that category. So within that category, this item is selling more than any other item in the home and kitchen category. And this one's number two and this one's number three. So using this data, you know that these items are doing really well on Amazon. And so they're probably going to do well on Facebook Marketplace as well. Now, there's a lot of items here. Do you just list them all up for sale? Well, not quite. What I like to do is I like to see if these items fit one of two different categories or, or criteria, I should say. I'm looking for items that either solve a problem or that have some sort of wow factor. Because ultimately, what I want is a product that someone is going to impulse buy without really shopping around, without really looking for it anywhere else. They see it, they're like, wow, that's cool, or wow, that solves a problem. I wanna buy it, I want that product. That's going to get you sales the fastest. So this item right here is kind of jumping out at me, right? The other ones are just kind of bedding and sheets. Those would probably do well, but this one is jumping out at me. Let's take a look at it. This one is a micro pop popcorn popper. So what this does is you put kernels in here and you stick it in the microwave and it makes a perfect pot of popcorn. And maybe this one jumps out at me because I've actually impulse purchased this myself before. I used to use this and it does make really good popcorn, quite frankly. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it kind of has like, wow, that's kind of neat. So this is an item that I would put on the Facebook marketplace and start selling it myself. Now let's keep going through here uh, at what else they have. They have this item here, a liquid ant killer. I I tend to avoid anything like that that has some sort of poison in it. I just don't want to mess with that. There's a lot of rules on different marketplaces about stuff like that, and I'd rather just not, not get into it at all. Uh, what else do they got here? Garden hose pots, fabric pots. What is this? So these are superior fabric pots. I mean, I don't know much about gardening, but that looks pretty different. Never seen anything like that. You know, and I'm making this video in April as we're going into spring and summer. So this might be something 
something that's really popular right this time of year. So this is something I might try, kind of interesting. Uh, what else do they got here? Oh, this is interesting. Organic mini mushroom grow kit. That's definitely something strange and different. Like, wow, that's different. I've never seen a mushroom growing kit. So that's also kind of has that wow factor and something else I might be interested in putting up for sale on Facebook Marketplace right there. Now, there's some other things you can look at in here. In addition to best sellers, they also have movers and shakers here. So inside movers and shakers, and again, we'll come into the home and kitchen category here. This shows you items that have recently gone up in their ranking really fast. They might not be the, the top, but they're moving up really fast. So again, this is the same category, home and kitchen. You see these mushrooms here, they came back up again. So not only are they high up in popularity, but they're also moving up. Same thing with this popcorn maker as well. So you will see repeats in here, but something like, let's say this knife sharpener here, we didn't see that on the other page, but it is here because this one's moving up in the search results. People are buying this one and it's becoming more and more popular. This category, uh, sorry, this section kind of movers and shakers is really helpful for spotting trends that are happening. So if we come through here, what do we see? We see food storage bins. So maybe people are getting more fit and they're trying to do more meal prep. So they're using that for meal prep. We see a lot of gardening stuff right here. So again, the time of year to do gardening is really popular. What else solves a problem here? Or has that wow factor for me? Oh, electric kettle, a really cool looking electric kettle that's clear. So that might be one that kind of solves a problem and is a bit of a wow factor right there. We have reusable metal straws. Okay, something else that solves a problem. A lot of places are banning straws. So you gotta get your own straws now. So these are gonna become more and more popular and they're moving up and they're kind of cool there. Those ones hit that, those criteria as well. Now, the other thing we can look at over here are the new releases. Now, new releases are items that are brand new and maybe they don't have as much search history yet. So we don't really know what the ranking is gonna be, but Amazon thinks they're gonna become popular. And you gotta understand that Amazon, they have a lot of search history, right? They have a ton of data that they're able to access. They kind of know what items are going to be selling well. They have really good information on that. So they're using all that to put these items in here in the hot new releases. So again, we have here a hummingbird feeder, which fits into the category of spring, cleaning, gardening. So Amazon probably saw that. Something about it said to them, hey, this item might do well. And it's also a gardening item, which does really well around this time of the year. What else do we have here? Rechargeable mosquito repeller. Boom, right there. I mean, this solves a problem. It's really unique. I've never seen anything like it. Kind of as that, wow, that's really cool. You know, that really would, would help me when we're outside just trying to enjoy. And there's all the mosquitoes coming. Uh, this is something really cool. And Amazon thinks it's gonna do well as well. So boom, that's an item that I would list up myself. So how would you actually list it up? What you do is copy everything from here on Amazon and just paste it into Facebook Marketplace. Or you could do something like use my Chrome extension, which is right here. And then that will enable this button. So when I click it, it just copies everything and pastes it here into Facebook Marketplace. So it's really that fast. Now this item is in here, the price is increased. So once it sells, I just go into Amazon, purchase the item from there and have it shipped directly to my Facebook Marketplace customer. Now, one last kind of category I wanna show you here. If you just search for Amazon most wished for on Google, it comes right up the first result. And these are items that people have added to their wish list. Now, obviously they wanna buy it. So these for impulse buying are Gold. These are things that people want. If they put it into their wish list and then they see it on Facebook Marketplace, that's a really good chance that they're going to impulse buy it. So what do we see here? I mean, this reversible octopus plushie. I mean, that's that's interesting, right? You never, I've never seen anything like that. Some of these colors are unavailable. I'm sure some are in stock though. That's a really cool thing. That's kind of like, wow, that's neat. That's really unique. And uh, I would list that one up for sale. There's other ones here, like a turtle, a unicorn. So maybe I'll try a few of these, especially if this one does well, then I would go for the other ones. What else they got here? Pyrex measuring cups, right? Stackable can rack. Here we go. Kitchen gizmo snap and strainer. Yeah, definitely this is, solves a problem, right? Straining things, you have to use two different strainers. Now you only have to, or one pot and one strainer. Now this is only really one pot. So that definitely solves a problem right there. People see that and they might impulse buy it. So that's one that I would list up for sale myself. Now, without a doubt, product research is one of the most difficult parts about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Now, luckily, if you go through and keep practicing and trying it, you do get better at it as time goes on. My suggestion 
suggestion is to keep a spreadsheet of all the items you have listed with one column that says, hey, how did you find this item? That way, once the items start to sell, you might be able to see a pattern that says, hey, you know, all these items that are selling, they're all items that have been Amazon most wished for. The other things I'm trying aren't working. So I'm just gonna double down on adding products from Amazon's most wished for category. That way you can just kind of play off of your prior success. Like I said, product research is the most difficult part, which is why in my course, I teach like five different ways to do it. Now, currently the course is closed for enrollment, but it's going to be opening back up really soon. And before it does, I'm going to be having this free video series for you. We're gonna go much more in depth into how to do Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And even if you don't join my course, that free video series will punch a ton of value in there for you. So what you wanna do is click the first link underneath this video that will bring you to a page that looks something like this, it might change, but this should be what it looks like. You can click on get the free video series and sign up for it. And you'll be inside the portal that you'll log into once the first video in the series launches. And right away, as soon as you enter there, you'll get access to a free ebook that you can download and access all about how to do Facebook marketplace drop shipping. So by signing up at the link, you'll get the ebook and you'll get the free video series and you'll get on the wait list for when the course launches because it's only going to be open for a few days. So you do want to make sure you get on the wait list and get the email for when the course actually launches. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below and then subscribe to the channel for more videos about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.